Jared Polin. Fro knows photo. Dot com here with the Skype calls. Yes, the time where you get to, well, I get to call you and you get two minutes to ask a question. And when your two minutes is up, I go to the next person and you hear this. So you hear a ding. So we've got a couple of people waiting here that have Skyped in. So let me just explain to you how this works. Every, well, Fridays when I send out a tweet or a Facebook post, which you will see when I tweet at 1130, I start calling you people who Skype me at Jared Poland. So I say at 11 o'clock, you can start sending me messages and that basically gets us prepared for calling you at 11.30. And you can ask any question you want, and you get two minutes to do it, and then I move on to the next person. So let's start off here with this person, and hopefully everybody picks up today. Ring, ring, ring. Hey, hi, man. Hello, so you have... Hi. You have uh, yes. two minutes. Yeah, okay. I have a Nikon D3000. Actually, wait, to... wait, wait. Before your two minutes starts, why don't you tell me where you're from? Yeah, I'm from Uzbekistan, but currently I do my master's study in the Netherlands. Awesome, awesome. All right, what's your name? Yeah, my name is Bakhti. Bakhti, all right, your two minutes is going... All right, thanks. thanks. Okay, I have a Nikon D3000 and then the kit lens, 1855mm. And now I, I, I feel like I grow up and um, it's a little bit, um, yeah, not enough for me. And I want a new lens, but I want some maybe zoom lens. And I saw recently your video where you just crashed up this 55-300. Yeah. And so now I don't know. I mess up. I don't know what All right. to buy. Well, what is your budget? Yeah, budget is around, uh, say, 500 euro. So it's maybe $600. Okay. If you could stretch a little bit... The, you know the 70 to 200 Sigma that's out? Yeah. It, it, it's 799 in the U.S., but if you could save up a little more, you're going to be much happier with a 70 to 200 2.8 than you are, yeah. or you may even be able to find one used for the price that you're looking for. You're going to be much yeah. happier than one of those lower-end uh, 55 to 200 or 55 to 300, especially if you're looking to make this a profession. Yeah, yeah. All right, but do you do, do you actually consider Sigma as a good quality uh, lens? Well, you're putting it on you. What'd you say, D three thousand? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be perfect. Like I say to most people on the on the beginner cameras, you can go with those Sigma Tamron Tokina lenses because you're right. not really gonna notice too much of a difference between that and uh, the Nikon lenses on the on the lower end. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Cool. Yeah, okay, thanks a lot, man. You got 30 seconds if you want to say anything. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I just joined today your site, and I already watched a lot of movies, a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot, and I, and I read a lot, so I think it's really cool, and actually today I learned a lot, because I'm just uh, starting up learning this, uh, yeah, photography with DSLRs. Very cool. So, yeah, and thanks a lot. I think you're making a very good job. And uh, as soon as I have uh, PayPal, I'll try to maybe support you sometimes. Well, somehow. thank you very much. You have a good one. Yeah. yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. All right, see ya. Okay, bye bye. Hello, Adam Lerner. You're on the Skype line. You get, you get two minutes, buddy. How are you, Mr. Fro? Hey, well, put on your video. I'm putting on the video. Everybody wants to see what Adam Lerner looks like this week. How you doing, everybody? I'm good. Tell everybody where you're from. I'm sitting here in Brooklyn, New York, and uh, had a had a question for you and the and the Fro team over there. Go for it. So you know, I've been shooting a lot of different stuff, uh, some, some fashion week stuff, and um, I have all these photos, some really nice things, and just trying to figure out. What are the next steps? You know, now that you have all this editorial work, um, what does the Fro recommend for taking these these photos to the next step? I mean, I've been approached by a couple of different media outlets. I've uploaded them in a few different places, but I'm really looking to kind of find a way to get it out there and maybe even try to hook up with something like, you know, AP or Getty or one of those types of outlets. Well, you know what I like to say, just start calling these people, especially the AP. And I mean, you're in New York, so it's a little tougher because there's a million <laughs> people looking to do it. Right. But you know, you, you hit your flicker up, 
you know, start getting your images out there. I mean, right. you know, I say that. Get your blog running. Get people coming there. Start talking about the fashion week. Make some books. Go bang on some doors and start calling up uh, the fashion people yourself. Start working directly for them, and then the doors should open up. Well, then you never know if they open up. You got to break them down in New York. Yeah, I know it's well, not the greatest information in the world, but you know, maybe it no, is. I'm I know it's highly competitive. I don't know if you've ever shot for Getty or for AP or anything like that. Um, so I'm just wondering if you've even had experience shooting for those types of outlets and I, what their I've, expectations are. Well, I've shot for some of the uh, different people, some different outlets, not AP and not Getty, but other agencies. And they they just they call you with a job. You go do the job. You upload the images. They pay you. I, I mean, that's right. really what it comes down to. And then they pretty much own the images for that okay unless unless it's uh you're submitting your own stuff then it's a percentage gotcha all right and on a separate uh you got four on seconds. A separate note four seconds <laughs> yeah go ahead oh, extend it a, you quick, sure quick shout out quick shout out to lil yeah and greg yeah ari gizzy yeah and the entire team thanks adam all right thanks bro later bro bye see you All right, let's call the next guy right here. Let's see if he picks up. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Oh, he picked up. Where's his video? Oh, I'm there's here. his beautiful video. Hey there. Tell everybody your name and where you're from, sir. My name's Danny. Hello, I'm Danny. From England. Hello, Danny from England. Do you have a question for me? You got two minutes. Okay, if I used a D3S uh, with a Nikon 70 to 200 lens yeah. uh, on a long exposure, say four seconds at f22, would lesbians find me more attractive? Would lesbians find you more attractive? Yes. Well, are you trying to convert the lesbians using the DX lenses or the FX lenses? Let's not complicate the issue. It just flat out, will you look better, shot at four seconds... Yeah, probably because no. your hair would look a little longer and then the <laughs> lesbians may find you more attractive. No, just the thing is, because I think I'm a lesbian because I only do women, but I can't seem to get lesbians to want to join me. <laughs> have you tried putting on a wig? No. Have you, tried a, you. have you tried a blind lesbian? Listen, stop dominating the call. This is my two minutes. I've got other questions. Do you believe white supremacist washing machines have any place in modern society? Did you say white supremacist washing machines? Yeah. A KKK washing machine? Well, I've never said KKK because that's using a brand name. You're not advertising. <laughs> Next question. Okay, what would you rather do? Kiss a monkey or lick peanut butter off a tramp's foot? A whose foot? A tramp. A tramp. It's what English call hobos. Oh, kiss a monkey. Oh, a, a hobo. Yes. See, a tramp I think of like a whore. Well, whatever. You choose. It's I'm not a name. foot person. I'll kiss a monkey. Okay, fair enough. Have you ever been to England and why not? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't okay. bought my plane ticket yet. No. Even though you're a bit weird, gorgeous women seem to want to dance with you. What's your secret? What's my secret? It's the black rapid strap and the three-legged things tripods. They, they're, they're, yeah, they're attracted to you know three-legged things. I think, yeah. That's why women love me. Yeah, keep going. I want more questions. I love it. I, I, I wrote those five down. I haven't got any more. Oh, well, your two minutes is up anyway. We should do this again. Why else? Later. Later. Bye. All right, so that was Daniel, one of the funniest guys around. Uh, we'll have to get him on the line again. Um, who else do I need to call? Let's call this guy right here, and maybe they'll pick up. Ring? Ring. There we go. We got the ringing going. Hello. Hello. Why don't you uh, tell us where you're from? From the Netherlands. Netherlands. And go ahead. Your questions. Uh, you got two minutes. Yeah. My question is, uh, would if I would put an extender on my uh, lens, let's say 1.4 extender Which on the 17 to 55, 2.8 lens. Right. Would it still have the same uh, out of focus? Uh, well, do you, do you currently do that? Putting it on that lens? No, no, no. I, I don't have an uh, extender. Good. So. I wouldn't recommend putting it on a wide-angle lens. First okay. Off, um, 
Second off, I I don't get uber duper technical about the whole Boca thing with the with the uh, extenders. I honestly am not really sure about whether or not you get more Boca with that or if you don't. Because okay. I've I've never I've used extenders and then I took them off after three shots because one the focus is way too slow and two uh, the quality was terrible. Okay, so don't buy an extender. Uh, well, it's yeah, I don't really opinion. recommend extenders. If you're going to get an extender, you only go with the Nikon brand or the Canon brand if you're on on that end because they're going to work the best with the with the uh, with the lenses. But are you looking to just get more bokeh from your lenses? No, not no, not especially. But uh, I just was curious. Just wanted to know that. So. And I know I didn't really answer your question. I'm going to try to ask somebody who may know that because that's just. It's a good question. I just, I'm not really, really, really sure. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You got anything else? You got 30 seconds. Um, yeah, sensor cleaning. How do you keep your uh, sensors clean? Good question. Um, coming up on the Fro Show on Sunday, depending on when this is being played, uh, we use what's called a sensor swab. It's a, it's a clean, sterile pad that you put the sensor cleaning solution on, and then basically when you lock your mirror up in cleaning mode... You then, you know, then clean the sensor. You wipe it one way and wipe it the next. I know that's a quick explanation, but we'll, we're going to make a video on that one. But the, look up okay. sensor swabs. Go to their website, and you can watch a video of how they do it. That's how all the uh, companies end up cleaning them. Yeah, I'll check them out. Uh, Thank you. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye. See ya. Let's call the next person. I know I didn't have many good answers for that bokeh thing, but I'll try to figure it out. Ring. ring. Uh-oh. They may not be there. Hello? One more ring, and then we're hanging up. You there? Hello? I, I sure am. You're lucky. I almost hung up on you. Where are you from? I'm from Houston. Houston. Far away Houston land. Uh, your two minutes is going right now. Oh. What My is, two minutes is going right now. Oh, man, I had so many questions. Now they're uh, slipping my mind. Okay, for one, do you tame the fro down when you uh, kind of go out for, for shoots professionally? For prof When I'm shooting, the fro mostly like, stays you know, up. Uh, in, the, in the Florida video, your fro was kind of uh, not froish. Oh, when w during the live show or? No, when you went to, when you went, when you were with that uh, the old lady? woman that the old lady. Well, my hair was froed out that day. It was not as froed out as normal. Oh, well, maybe it wasn't humid enough in Florida, and yeah, who knows. But no, when I go on shoots, if they're uh, concerts and places where I'm going to be seen, I'll leave the fro up because I want to be seen and I want, you know. It's your, it's your trademark. It's my trademark. Weddings, on the other hand, it's in the contract. Uh, the bride and groom get to decide whether they want the fro up or down. Or down. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the other thing is that did you... Is that, is that really you singing in the Fro Knows Photo song? I am singing the rap. Did you get to hear the song yet? I, well, I, I mean, I hear it at the beginning of the show. At the beginning of the show, that is the chorus, and that's Walt Lafty singing the chorus. So uh -huh. when we release the song, hopefully soon, you will hear me rapping. Uh, yeah, I've got two whole things. There. I've rapped the whole song. Okay, good stuff. And then uh, the other thing that I wanted to ask you is that I've got um, a D7000 with... Uh, 14 to 24 and a 70 to 200 okay um so i'm missing that middle lens which i can't afford right now i don't want to throw more money on the on the on the camera so is there something that you would recommend in the in the meantime that i could use you, have the, you said 14 to 24 and 70 to 200 yeah middle i mean uh the, 50. The, what's missing and there's a 24 to 70 right well more so on the full frame the 24 to 70 but i mean the 14 to 24 fills a nice void uh, I think, you know, maybe a 51.4. And a 51.4 AFD would be a really good choice. 51.4. Okay, I have a 60. I have a 60, a 2.8. 2. Oh, well, that, that, fill, that fills the void. That, you think that fills the void? Yeah, I mean, the 24-7 isn't the best choice on a DX camera. Really, it's the best on FX for the for the wide angles. But, hey, if, you can, if you can swing it, go for it. Okay, oh. that's that's what I'm going to do. One, one, more, one more quick... Uh, You're in overtime right now. Oh, man. All right. I'm just going to email you. What's then. the question? Real quick, and I'll see if I want to answer it. Um, no, just forget about it. I'll email you. It's long. All right. All right. Thanks, buddy. All right. See ya.
Bye. Bye. All right, let's call one more. Being that we just went into overtime, might as well go call Chuck. Chuck is offline. No. We're not calling Chuck. I didn't realize Chuck was offline. Up, oh, Chuck's offline. So I guess that wraps it up for this week. Um, so remember, start to think that Fridays at 11 o'clock, you can start sending me Skype messages. Who's this guy? Call me. I got a question about concert photography. Why not? It popped up. Let's call the guy and see what we got. Ring, ring. You said call. I'm calling. Hey, I'm, what's up? Uh, hey, you're on. You just got in under the wire. What's your question? Uh, quick question about concert. Um, I just shot a concert recently. Oh, yeah. Where are you from, by the way? I'm from Fort Worth, Fort Texas. Worth, Texas. All right. Two Texas calls in a row. Go Cowboys. Go Rangers. Screw the Cowboys. Screw the Rangers. Screw the Phillies. Okay. <laughs> um, there was a bunch of fog at this concert, you know, the sm yep. uh, fog machine. And it was kind of messing with a bunch of my pictures. Yep. So how, what's, what's some tips? How there? to do it? Bump up your contrast, bump up your black levels, and it should wipe away a lot of that fog. Cool, cool. Yeah, it, it was doing some good effects with uh, with some of the pictures. It worked out real good, but um, some it was just messing them up. Yeah, the fog can do that. Um, but, yeah, I found that you can bust the fog with the contrast and the um, and the black levels. Cool, cool. Yeah. What else you got? Uh, what else you got? You got a minute, a uh, minute and ten. Um, let's see. Pretty sad about you guys taking Cliff Lee from us. We didn't take him from you. He chose to come back home. Nah, uh, he ripped our hearts out. He did, but you know what? He loved it here, and you gotta, you gotta uh, respect the guy who didn't go for the money in New York. Yeah, yeah, you gotta respect him there. Plus, you you also have to know that um, his daughter's hospital is in Philly, one of the best cancer hospitals. Uh, yeah, yeah, and that. So they're really close there, just in case they need that again. Yeah, that's probably good. It's probably good. I know it sucks though when a when a player like that does leave because he's one of those class acts. And, yeah. Uh, hey, quick twenty seconds or so. Um, yeah. Sigma Lin seventy to two hundred. Is it definitely a good buy? Uh, what saving the saving the four hundred bucks or so? What body? I got a Canon body. Which one? Uh, the T one I. Yeah, on on those on the T one eyes on the T two eyes on on the lower end side. Yeah, yeah. seventy two hundred two point eight Sigma is going to be a really really good lens for you, especially for shooting concerts and portraits and I don't know. It's like the go to lens for everything. Yeah, and when I upgrade to a full frame, will uh will it be a problem? No, it's still gonna work full frame. Uh, at okay. that point, you may want to sell it and then pick right. up a Canon version. Cool. Yeah. yeah, sounds good. All right, you have a good one. Thanks, you too, man. All right, see ya. All right, so there we go. We pumped through quite a few questions today. We went a little overtime on some, and we answered a couple more. So remember, Fridays, 11 a.m., you can start tweeting me. No, not tweeting me. You can start sending me Skype messages, and I will line you up, start calling you around 11.30, and then repost this. Not sure when they're going to be repost, but keep it in mind. So, Jared Poland, frownosephoto.com. See ya. Thank mm -hmm. you.